Hi, I'm Taz Monopoly, cosmetic chemist and trainer here at the Institute of Personal Care and Science. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make a natural heat protecting conditioner. Now let's get into the lab. Okay, so here I have all my phases. I'm gonna start off by making a slurry with this guar gum. So this is the Actisoft S. So I'm gonna add this into my glycerin to make a slurry and then I'm gonna add it to my water phase. Okay, once you have a lump free and smooth slurry, you're gonna add it to your water phase and uh, use high shear, turn it into a nice gel. Okay, once that's homogenous, we're gonna add it onto the heat. Now, while that's heating, I'm gonna add my oil phase together. Now I'm going to be using this natural cationic emulsifier here. So this is the Amino Sensor Ultra MB. To this I'm going to be adding some Montanov 68. This is going to give it a nice viscosity. And I'm also just going to add a little bit of argan oil um, as this is really good for the hair and also just for marketing. You can also of course pick another exotic oil of your choice. So you can see that's starting to thicken up now that it's got a little bit of heat and it's also left to hydrate in the water for a little bit longer. It's just got a bit more viscous. Okay, once it's hot enough, I'm just gonna add my oil phase. So this is my emulsifiers and my argan oil. So we're just going to stir to cool once we've taken that off heat and then we're going to add our heat sensitive materials. So while that's cooling, I'm going to talk you through the active I am going to be using today. So this is the Alea Renova by Vitrus Biotech. So it protects the hair from damage at high temperatures of 230 degrees and it also protects the hair against UV. Um, so it also nourishes and beautifies the hair. It's got some really good data here for reinforcing the hair anchor um, and also collagen boosting and scalp regenerating. So really good efficacy data there. As you can see here in the efficacy data for the high temperatures in UV, you can see on the left hand side there what the root or the shaft of the hair looks like with damage. It's quite frayed and dry looking, but then you, to the right you can see that it's completely smoothed over with 2% of the active use. So really good active here and really multifunctional. Okay, next I'm going to add my preservative. I'm just going to use GeoGuard ECT and I'm also going to add in a little bit of tocopherol. So as it's cooling, you can see that it's becoming quite a nice thick conditioner. So we're just gonna check adjust the pH and then we're gonna cover it and leave it till the next day. Yep, it's actually perfect. So as I said before, we're gonna cover it and leave it till the next day. Full viscosity is gonna be achieved overnight. So we're just gonna let that sit. Okay, so it's next day and this is what our heat protecting conditioner looks like. It's a really beautiful cream viscosity, nice and thick. Doesn't feel too heavy either because you don't want heavy or lank hair after wash off. So that's applying really nice. A little bit goes a long way and that's spreading really beautiful. And there you go, that's how easy it is to make a natural heat protecting conditioner. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up, leave any questions in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to receive notification on all our videos. Happy formulating.